But Father, we thank you, Lord God, and we give you the glory. We ask, Lord God, for your Holy Spirit to climatize the atmosphere, to saturate us, mind, body, and soul. Whatever it is, whoever it is that may be uh, delaying or hindering our intimacy with you, God, we ask that you supersede it. For you say, great is he that's in us than he that is in the world. So we thank you for pure channel. We thank you for pure hearts. We thank you for a pure signal. And we thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost changing our lives, mind, body, and soul as you desire. We exercise our authority through Christ Jesus by binding any principality of power, ruler, darkness, spiritual witness, and high praises that would try to stop what God is doing for the days, weeks, and months to come. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. The Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus. We bless you and we praise you, God. We give you glory. We give you honor, Lord God. We thank you, Father, that you are in every moment of our lives, Father. You're already in that moment from day one until this very moment now. And God, we thank you to gather together in your name, Lord God. You are in our midst, Father. Not only to hear what we say, but to see the agreement according to your word, Father. And that you will, Lord God, release your comfort and strength. Lord God, we bless and we honor you for every family, every home that's represented. And Lord God, we thank you for victory on every side. And we give you praise, Lord God. And we thank you because your word declares, Lord God, that you comfort all day that morn. And so, Father, we thank you for the joy of the Lord. That is our strength, Lord God. And we give you praise and glory in the mighty name of Jesus, the name that is above every name the name that is above grief, the name that is above sorrow, the name that is above a broken heart, God. For you declared in your word, you said, I will heal the brokenhearted and I bind up their wounds. So God, we stand on your word that is from everlasting to everlasting will be momentous, Lord God, in the hearts and minds of your people. And we give you praise and glory in Jesus name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Father, we honor you. Father, we thank you, Lord, that you are good that you are full of compassion, that your mercy endures forever. Father, we thank you, Lord, that you see us, that you are aware of what we're walking through, of what we're going through. Father, we thank you, Lord, that your word says, God, that you are our present help. Lord, that you never leave us, that you'll never forsake us. Lord, your word says that he that keepeth us, you never slumber, nor are you sleep. You are awake, Father God. Father, I thank you, Lord, that there's nothing that goes by, Lord, that you are not aware of. But I thank you, Lord, that God, that you have given us your Holy Spirit. Lord, Holy Spirit, we thank you, Father, that you give us your spirit so that we can be comforted. Father, we thank you, Lord, for the power of your word and for the power of your promises and for the power of your blood and for the power of your son. The Bible says that Jesus ever lives to make intercession for us. So Father, even when we're tired and when we're weary, and Father, even when we have no strength and no might, I thank you, Lord God, that Jesus, that you are always undergirding us, that you are always praying for us. You are always standing in the gap. You're the one who keeps the wall. You're the one who surrounds us with fire. And so we just thank you, Lord, for all that you have given us, even upon this night. Father, we just bless this network. Father, those that will be watching, Father, we just ask God that your words will strengthen them, that it will encourage them, that it will, it will undergird them, that it will let them know, Lord, that you are aware of where they're at at the moment of a new beginning. We have a new start. You're giving us a new fresh start, Father. And we thank you, Lord, that that door that is closing, Lord, we're not gonna allow ourselves to open it up. We're not gonna allow the enemy to open up, but Father, we're looking unto Jesus. Jesus, you are the author, you are the perfecter, and you are the finisher of our faith. So Lord, we choose to walk into a new place. We choose to walk into a new era with you. And so Lord, everyone that will see this in the days to come, Father, we thank you, Lord, that you're letting them know, God, that it's an open door, it's a new door, and all we have to do is walk in. And Father, we thank you for it in Jesus' name, amen. I just wanna share that when, um, when myself and the visionary uh, evangelist was kind of just having time together. 
uh, she was sharing how the Lord had just really uh, given her opportunity for just uh, many lives to just come and be restored. And I just heard the Lord say, rapid fire, rapid fire. That the Lord didn't just give her one or two souls, but he gave her many souls in one rapid fire. So I just feel like the Lord is gonna bring us into a year of rapid fire. So that when the word of the Lord comes out of your mouth, it's gonna be rapid fire. It's gonna hit bullseye. It's not gonna, you know how sometimes just one heart receives the word, but I just believe that it's gonna, God's just gonna have it like, I'm a soldier, I'm a retired soldier. And so when rapid fire goes out, it's, it just hits targets. It doesn't hit a target, but it has an S. It just hits, 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 hits. Right, so I believe like we're entering into a year of rapid fire. So those of you who have sown, we're gonna begin to see the seed and we're gonna just see what the Lord's just gonna like, boom, 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 boom. Uh, and, and so as you announce the word of the Lord, because what the Lord told me, he said, when every word that is in my Bible is an announcement, right? It's a declaration. And you know, when we hear an announcement, right? I was thinking about how the government makes announcements. And when they do, we heed the word. And so I believe like as we begin to speak, it's gonna be an announcement and we're gonna see people begin to heed the word. And that's where that rapid fire is gonna come in. The Lord also told me for this year, this is gonna be a year where he's gonna be very methodical and he's gonna show us how to be very methodical. And let me just define that word for us. I know you know it, but, but it says, uh, methodical is defined as done according to a systematic or an established procedure. Methodical in thought is orderly, it's well thought out, it's planned, it's systematic in thought. In other words, we're not, we're no longer, when we begin to release the word of the Lord, it's not gonna be disorderly or haphazardly. We're gonna become very methodical in the plans of God. We're gonna, be, you know, because when God, when I think of the word methodical, the Lord brought me to the book of Genesis. In the book of Genesis, God was very methodical. Everything was very planned out what he did on the first day, what he did on the second day, what he did on the third day. Everything was in an order and it was very systematic. And I believe we're entering into a season where we're gonna be very methodical in our own ministries. We're gonna be very methodical as we release the word of the Lord. It's gonna be well planned out. It's gonna be orderly. And that's where that rapid fire is gonna go. So what he said, the opposite of methodical is chaotic, patternless, disorderly. And, and so this year, I believe God is challenging, challenging, challenging us to be very methodical as, as we walk in ministry this year. Also, uh, I heard the, the Lord say that um, he's very meticulous and he wants us to become very meticulous in the year of 2023. We know what the word meticulous means, right? It means showing great attention, being precise, right? There again, uh, rapid fire. I mean, it's literally going to hit the target. Uh, also, the Lord just gave me this. He said, this year, we're going to hear the word reciprocate. Reciprocating is, is a mutual agreement or uh, it's a uh, mutual exchange between two people, right? So as we give to the Lord, right, as we release to the Lord, the Lord's going to release back to us. Like, we're just going to go into some real deep places. The Lord been talking to me about mining, about mining, going into the deep places with Him and just retrieving gems that we he has hidden for us. So I believe this this 2023 is gonna be a very methodical year for us. Uh, and God wants us to be very, um, uh, he wants us to show great attention and to be very precise. Precise with him, precise in our own lives, precise in ministry, precise in whatever it is that he has laid on your heart to do. Amen. So I hope that you're blessed and just be ready for rapid fire. Right now, I just thank God for each and every one of you. I thank God for even allowing me to be on this call, to be in fellowship with each and every one of you. And even now, God is calling us to a place where we have never been before. God says he is putting mantles. He is giving us mantles and anointings that we have not seen before, that we have not walked in before. But he says, do not be afraid of the unfamiliar. He said, no, I know you don't know how to do this, but I am with you and I will teach you. I will tell you how to go in. And just as I was with Moses, I am with you. So do not be afraid. Do not be afraid because I will send you to places where you never thought you could go. I am going to send you to places where you're going to have to speak with thus says the Lord. And it may not be popular. 
I am going to send you to places where you speak to people that are in high positions. I am going to send you to those places, but I will not send you alone. I will go with you. And just as I was with Moses, once again, I am with you. So fear not, for I, the Lord God, will do just what I said that I will do. And I thank you, God. I just praise God and I thank God for all of the work. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this moment. You said we're two or three again. You are in the midst of us, Lord. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for being our Savior, our Redeemer, our Deliverer. God, we thank you, Heavenly Father, that in there is no distance in prayer. A family, oh, Heavenly God, ordered and ordained by you. In the midst of our opposition, in the midst of our longing, our loss, our grief and our sorrow. Your word says, surely you have bored that. You took that and carried it to the cross. Oh God, we thank you, Lord, that you are that God, the one and only, the healer and deliverer. You are mighty God. You know what the midst of our situations are, our thoughts, our feelings, the brokenness of our heart. But you are that God that means, that heals, that repairs, that restores, oh Heavenly Father, through songs, through hymns and songs, oh God, through the scriptures. We just thank you, Heavenly Father, for our position, our post in life, to be a mother, to be a father, to, to be that enabler, to be that prayer warrior, to be that intercessor, oh Lord, to lift up our children, oh Lord, in the midst of their opposition, to stand steady and be that anchor, O oh Heavenly Father, to know that God is, He is that for us. He is what He says He is. He is that in our lives, O oh God. Oh Lord, we thank you every day. As we sleep, as we rise, as we lay, as we continue to work, as we continue to walk, to know, to know that God is. He wraps His arms around us. He is that God that sees the tears that flow. He is that God that sees how situations happen. But we thank you, Dad. We thank you that you prepared a place for us. You have prepared us for this, O oh Lord. We know that opposition comes. We know death does come. We know that things happen suddenly. But Daddy, you were not surprised. We may have been, but God, you are that God. The word you say is a spiritual word. It lifts our burden. It heals the broken. It dries our tears. So, Daddy, we thank you right now. Not by might, nor by power, but by your spirit. We thank you, O God, for the anointing, which removes burdens and destroys you. We thank you, O Heavenly Father, for being that redeemer of the brethren. Oh God, we thank you that we are redeemed by the blood and the Lamb and the word of her testimony. Oh God, we forever give you the praise and give you the glory. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you now, Lord God, for the Holy Ghost. Lord God, who will minister to us in areas oh, that we may not be assured areas that we may not be confident God that you remove all types of fear all disguises of fear of inadequacy of low self-esteem unworthiness all of the lies that the devil tell Lord God we plead the blood of Jesus and we renounce any remnant any segment any indication of the spirit of fear from our our lives, our bodies, our our families, our ministries, God, and that we'll start off afresh, Lord God, with the holy boldness. In the name of Jesus, we say whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven, and what we loose on earth is loose in heaven, and you've given us the key, so we bind up the spirit of fear. Fear brings torment. We bind that spirit up in the name of Jesus, 
and in Jesus' name, we lose the anointing of a holy boldness. We say praying in the Holy Ghost, building ourselves up in the most holy faith. So, Lord, I decree, Lord God, that we will walk in a holy boldness and a confidence in you, not in ourselves, in you, God, so that you will be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.